Hi everybody, it's Isabel again. We're going to do another uh, tutorial on this portrait creation. Um, we're going to transplant one character into another scene and how to do all that in Photoshop. So we're going to go ahead and I just, I made a copy here, so we're just going to click one of these. Um, let's go to Portrait Creator. Let's make, let's make grandparents and a baby. We haven't, I haven't done that yet. Let's do, let's do grandpa. Double click that, open in Photoshop. And excuse my uh, noise once again. Uh, the husband's home today, so he's about to come into the room here. All right, so we have the image open here. And like normal, we can go in here and you can start customizing. We have a cardigan. And you can do all that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Pants. Shirt tucked in. Can we untuck the shirt? Oh, we cannot. Okay. Collared shirt. Whoops, let's take the shirt out here. There you go. Ooh, it is uh, snowing here. Let's see what winter wear looks like here. We have to undo some layers here so we can see. There we go. I almost like the, uh, the cardigan pants over that one. So let's go into winter wear and get rid of his pants, jeans, and his boots in this one here. Is it that one? It is not that one. It is shoes. Oh, there you go. Um, what we can do is we're going to take the pant layer. Where's my chinos? Um, it says chinos and shirts. Here we go. We can take this one and we're going to drag it under the winter wear layer. So that way. Da, 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 da. Um, and then we're going to go in and fix these pants real quick because these pants aren't meant for these boots. So let's go back into chinos and chinos. It's an interesting word for the pants, I'm sure. It's normal, but I'd like to call them cardigans. Um, let's go in and get a soft brush. We're on black, make a new layer. So it's this little button down here. It gives you this white here. And you're gonna paint black over the areas that the pants are kind of showing over. Get rid of those pants. There you go. Now you could go in here with a harder brush down here. Click hard. Make it smaller. I'm using my bracket keys to make them smaller. Well, shortcuts for the win. And just kind of, there we go. That way it's a clean line instead of a faded line. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's look at hair. I haven't even looked at the grandpa yet. Mini afro, interesting. Brush cut. Hats for bald heads. Oh, there you go, that's cute. You have a dark cat and a light cat. Where's the dark one? I like the, I like the dark for contrast. All right, so here's a quick, quick grandpa. Um, uh, as of before, you can go into men here and she's got the skin tones. So you can make a very white to grandpa or you can make any type of skin tone you may desire. And before, say if you wanted something in between, you could pick the two and then bring the opacity down and kind of get something that's like in between those colors. Yeah. All right, close enough. All right, so we like that. So now we want to make, I'm gonna go back over here to our layers here. Let's make a little boy. Make a toddler. There we go. Let's make a 9 through 13 year old. Double click that. It's going to open a new tab in your Photoshop here. Bring it back around. All right. So here's Grandpa. Let's make Little Man here. Little Man here, let's say he can be the typical boy here where even in the cold weather, he's going to wear. Um, 
shorts. <laughs> you really don't have much options here. We have teen jeans and a t-shirt. Well, there you go. That looks somewhat wintry, right? I just I like that all together right there. I don't need to do much to that. Let's bring his skin tone to match Grandpa a little bit. Make herself a little mixed baby. We like those. All right. Um, how about we change his eyes to green? That cute. Do we have eye? Here we go. Eye color. Green. And then remember when you do that, you have to take the top layer. So the blue is above the green, so you have to take the eye off the blue. So now he has green eyes. There we go. <clears throat> Let's look at hair. High fade. Oh, oh. I kind of like the side swoosh. It's got a nice, nice little side swoosh going here. Ooh, that red hair though. That red hair. But um, you should be able to do... Um, tousled, and we should have the option to do a red over here. So we can do like a red. Let's put a blonde in there and then like let's make it like a light red. Or like an orange. Make him a carrot head. Carrots. Dark brown. Should make it a little less carrot looking. There we go. There we go. Cute. Alright, so now we have little man. And what we're gonna do is you're going to click an image file. So it has to be a picture that's visible. And you're going to right click and merge visible. Whoops. Before you do that, don't do it yet. Unclick your background layer. There you go. So you want to unclick the background layer, right click, merge visible. And now little man should be, he's going to be hidden because he's under some of these layers here. Let's pull him up. There he is. So now little man is movable. So what we can do now is you click him, uh, once you flatten him, however, you cannot change things. So make sure you've got little man how you want him before you pull him over. Look at that, and we drop him in. There we go. Cool. So let's find little man on these layers. He kind of dropped right into the middle here. So let's go ahead and pull that up top here. Um, we can, if you want to keep uh, Grandpa without changing anything, you can click top layer here, I'm going to skip the paper texture and go all the way down to man and shift click and then you click a folder and it's going to put the entire grouping into a folder. There we go. So once you do that you just click the grouping and then you can move grandpa around to a little bit here without having to flatten him out. You could do the same thing with um, the boy on this layer and then just pull those layers over if you want to customize them again layer and customize them again later. You have many different options here. Cool. So let's make our background larger so we can maybe add some of her little house houses in the background. And to do that, we're going to go up to, and you can't see my palette because I didn't click it to show you, but you're going to go to um, image canvas size. And you're going to have the choice of how you want it. If you want it to go downwards, you want it to uh, enlarge from the center or upwards or the side. Um, center is about normal here. I like to go to inches so I can kind of see where we're at. So let's go with a... I like... Let's do a 15 because we can always crop it later by 15. And click OK enter there we go and then we can zoom out here and now we have like a square background here so let's bring little man over here hey girls please don't bark <laughs> and put that there let's go in and see what else we have over here we can put more grandparents in you can put in a baby with a stroller um, what I do like is she's got some pets. So let's look at pets. We'd add, I love the horses. Um, that's our large dog. There you go. I kind of feel like they are a lassie. Dalmatians. There we go. I love those Great Danes. Great Danes are gorgeous. I have a greyhound. Ooh, huskies. 
like their Labrador family. I do a cream Labrador. Kind of goes with the color palette too. So we're going to drop the Labrador in. There we go. And then hit check marked. And let's bring you over so you can see your palettes. So once again, you're going to remember that everything is done by layers. And this dog layer is below the kid's layer. So he's going to be dropped in behind the kid or in above grandpa. So you can move the Labrador around. Like if you want to pull him up front, that way he's in front of both of them. Or you can pull it all the way down. That way he's behind them both. Kind of feel like I liked it where he was like in front of the kid. Or maybe have him behind grandpa. So to do that, group one is grandpa and bring grandpa and pull him up to the top here. There we go. Whoops, don't do that. Oh grandpa. There we go. Make sure we have yes supply. Um Make sure you have the, the dog selected over in your layers. There you go. All right, so. Um, let's go over here to extras and she's got like some bonus graphics we can drop in. Ooh, Eiffel Tower, make them French. <laughs> Uh, neighborhood graphics. This is the one I was thinking. They have um, houses and they have one that has like here it goes like a neighborhood scene that has it all dropped in. So you just go ahead and drag and drop it over. Just break it in and the layer is on top of the other layers right now so we'll move it behind. And then you can shift click to keep the proportions and kind of make it bigger or smaller. Or if you want to just you know, you don't care if the disportions, you can just pull it without hitting shift. A little bit of a background here. There we go. And hit check mark. And now we want to drag that graphic behind everyone. So, whoops, I lost it. Undo, right under there, there we go. Now it's behind. So let's say you want to change the background color and by doing that you should click the background layer and just click a new layer above it that way it's behind everyone. And then you can go in here. Let's try doing a gradient. Um, let's do maybe like a grass color and see how that goes. All right, and watch, I have it upside down. Let's do this. Yep, I have it upside down. <laughs> All right, Command Z and do, and just pull up from the bottom. Where you want it to kind of start fading probably about there. And then What you could do in essence for that is go in and um, instead of the green and white layer, uh, go in here again in your gradient and uh, change your white to, if we kind of like the blue, we can click the blue there. So that way it kind of fades into blue. It's like a sky, so let's do that again. So drag from the bottom up, there you go. Pretty cool. And that's your gradient layer. And there is a quick tutorial on how to add graphics in additional characters. If you wanted to add a grandma or maybe another child or anything, you would just continue on as you're going on. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below.